So today we're looking at adding three or more fractions, continuing on with our learning that we've been doing this week and last week. You can pause here for the success criteria and the key words. How do I go about adding these? So if you want to pause here, you can give this a try. It's really just the exact same thing we've been doing this whole time, where you have to find the lowest common multiple to make the denominators the same. So if I wanted to rewrite this question, I'm having a look at these denominators. I've got a 3, a 12, and a 4. So the lowest common multiple of all of them is going to be 12, because 12 appears in the 3 and 4 times tables, and of course it appears in its own. So I'm going to rewrite my fractions. I'm going to keep that one the same because I don't need to change it. And now all I have to do is think, right, how did I get from here to here? I multiplied by 4, so I must do the same with the top. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. And then I think, how did I get from here to here? Multiplied by 3, so I must do the same over here. So that's going to end up becoming a 3. So now I have 8 over 12 plus 3 over 12 plus 3 over 12. So that's going to give me 11 first and then 14. So 14 twelfths. If you wanted to write that as a mixed number, 14 divided by 12 is one whole with two left over. And we can simplify that. There you go. How about that one? You can give that a try if you like. Pause here. I'm going to rewrite my fractions again, looking at the lowest common multiple of what I've got. It's 12, so I'm going to keep the first one the same. And I'm going to change that one and that one. And again, what did I do to get from here to here? I multiplied by 6. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll do the same on the top. And it's the same number here. So we're going to end up with 13, 19, 12, which we write that as a mixed number, one whole one. 7 left over 7 twelfths. Okay, here is an area model representation of the question below. So 1 quarter plus 3 eighths plus 3 sixteenths. Okay, um, it's like what we saw yesterday. So you um, shade in your first part, you split with the smallest denominator, the 4. Then we split to make it 8 parts in the second step and then split to make it 16 parts in the third step. So then all we have to do is count how many 16th there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 sixteenths, okay, according to the area model. And if we were to rewrite our fractions, okay, this question, if I want to change my denominators, it'd be this here, 4 sixteenths, plus 6 sixteenths, plus 3 sixteenths which, as you can see on the top, we leave the denominator the same, and the numerator is equal 13. So there you go. <clears throat> so you can pause here and try doing your own. I'll show you one. So I'm going to split my rectangle here into three equal parts. Okay, I'm going to shade in my third. Okay, so just underline that so I know that was my third shaded in. Okay, now I'm going to split it into sixths. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to add my sixth there. Okay, and now I'm going to split it into twelfths. So I'm just going to put the line down the middle of each of these to make it into twelve equal ish parts. And I'm going to shade in my one twelfth. So now I have to count how many bits I've got out of twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, and that's it. Um, you can try the one on the right. Give this one a try. Again, it's all about converting your denominators. You want these to be out of 16. And that one you keep the same. Okay, so again, how did I get from here to here? Multiplied by 2, so I have to do the same on the top. How did I get from here to here? Multiplied by 4, I have to do the same there. So you're going to end up with 15 16. So again, we just added the numerator, so the denominator stays the same. You can pause here to give the fluency questions a try. And there you have the reasoning and problem solving for today. Good luck.